Hi, my name is Oli. I'm from the Headmasters Pro Session team, and this is my friend here, Frankie. I want to show you some looks today for women in their 40s and 50s that are young, fresh, and fashionable. So the first look I want to show you today is a cheap way to create that professional salon blow dry. The three central tools you need to achieve this look is a wand, a pastiche brush, and silver clips. So before I did anything to Frankie's hair today, I prepped with some Paul Mitchell Super Sculpt. This is essential for giving the hair some guts and also some hold, so whenever you use any heated implement to the hair, it holds for the whole day. Okay, to create this look, you just need to section the hair into three areas. The first one is taking from her natural parting to her crown, and I'm going to pull my point of my pastiche brush down to the arc of her eyebrow and simply clip that section away. My second section is from the top of my previous section and I'm going to bring it to above the ear. And I'm going to hold that in a section clip as well. So I'm going to take this first section to just brush through with a pastiche brush so you make sure you get any knots out. Placing the wand away but diagonally down and then you're wrapping the hair around once. Hold for a few seconds to let the heat penetrate through the hair and then let go. Placing the wand onto the hair and then pushing the hair away from the face enables to create a better fall onto the forehead. It's softer and flattering to the face and opens up again her eye area. As you can see already, it's starting to happen as it falls across her forehead and then starts kicking into my final section over there. So I'm just going to remove my final clips here and I'm just going to use my fingers to rake through the hair to open up the sections. Okay, and just finishing the look by just teasing the hair with your fingers. This is something you can do throughout the day because your fingers hold a lot of heat and this resets your blow dry and your finish. So I'm just going to use some Paul Mitchell Super Clean Spray. This is a great light spray which is able to lock in the style, but you don't get a very heavy product build up on the hair. This is my finished look, my cheat's guide to a professional blow dry that you can do at home yourself. So now I wanted to work on my second look, an easy updo that you can do at home without it being too fiddly. We're also going to make sure this hair is brought back away from the face, so again we're really opening up the face. So we're going to start with a teardrop section which is working from about two or three inches from the crown forwards and again using the point of my pastiche and my finger I'm just going to pull a teardrop shape to a point just to about midway down the back of the head. If you were to do it yourself, imagine that you're going from the top of your head and you're drawing from the top of your head round to the back of the head and you do it in a smooth, swift motion and then you pull your hair up and then you section it with your section clip. So I'm going to place some Paul Mitchell foaming pomade just through the back section here just to get a nice smooth finish on the hair. I'm only going to use a small amount to start with. If you put too much in, you've completely lost your work. I just want to make sure the ends are smoothed down and then with a wide tooth comb, just making sure I'm dressing that back. It's falling down, it's keeping it smooth without it looking too overworked. So I'm going to start by pinning some blonde hair grips into her hair. It's really important you choose a grip that's going to suit the colour of your hair. So I'm going to get my pastiche brush now so that I've got a bit more grit rather than a wide tooth comb. Coming around, pushing the grip up to the hair rather than down because the hair will then fall down with the gravity and I'm just going to take my second grip just to catch that final bit of the hairline. So if we look at the profile you can see how that smoothness through there is just working with her jawline. So I'm just going to put my first grip on the second side. We're getting a very even finish through the back there. And then finally, where the hair is not caught by a grip here, just taking your pastiche comb and pushing it down and then just sliding a grip through there. It just gives you extra hold. I'm now just going to finish what the areas I've worked on with some super clean spray by Paul Mitchell. If you spray some spray onto your pastiche brush end, you can then pull the hair over the ear and it gives a nice clean finish. It's really important to look at her jawline and work out where that height's going to work best. It's 
starting from the front, take about an inch section first and over direct the hair really forward. The common mistake people do with backcombing is they backcomb all the hair and it ends up looking a mess. So just making sure you're pushing that movement into the root area. So as you can see, we've got all that height. When you're doing it yourself, you can start just by pushing all your hair back. And as you can see, just by pushing the hair away, the height starting in the right place. I'm just going to use again some of my Paul Mitchell Super Clean Spray. And I'm just going to start connecting it all together. It looks like it's meant to be flowing onto the neck here, so all we need to do is put a couple of grips in to make sure the profile is finished. Just pinching a little section through here and dropping your pin through. This is spray wax. It just helps the hair grip onto each other a little bit more and also hold down the wandy bits of hair that may have sprung out from your back combing. This is my finished second look, my cheating updo. It's really easy to do. You could do this at your desk or you do it at home before you go out. my final look. This is more of an edgy look, this is, which is great if you want to still look sexy and sophisticated. So again, it's about making sure you're using the right product for this and about sectioning off your hair so you get the product in the right place. Again, I'm going to start with separating my teardrop section, which you've already done now, so you should know what to do. Again, it's really important you start with a small amount of product. Better to start working at the back and then work your way forward because that's where your look's going to be finished. Rub it through your hands and through your fingers because as you're rubbing your hands through the hair, the hair's going between the fingers. So you're using the whole of your hands to create this look. I'm now going to go into my teardrop section. And again, start with a small amount of Paul Mitchell Wax Works. Rubbing it again through my hands and through my fingers. And I'm starting to work through that teardrop section. So here's my final look. It's fresh, it's sexy, it's just got a really nice edgy feel. It's something that you can keep running your hands through without worrying about the finished look, but it's great for going out for cocktails with the girls or maybe going to a gig in the evening.